Hello and welcome to History of the Day series of Triumph IAS. Let's start from the birth anniversary of the day 20th March. Govindrajan Padmanabhan, an Indian biochemist and biotechnologist. Padmanabhan Govindrajan was born on 20th March 1938 in Bangalore, India. He is a renowned biochemist and a pioneer in Indian biotechnology. He worked as assistant professor, 1969-1975, associate professor, 1975-1980, and as professor, 1980 onwards, at IISC, Bangalore. He was director of the Indian Institute of Science during 1994-1998. He served as Honorary Professor Emeritus Scientist, 1998-2005, and Distinguished Biotechnologist, DBT, during 2003-2007. He worked as UGC British Council Young Scientist at St. Mary's Hospital Medical School, London, UK, 1969-1970, Senior Fulbright Scholar, University of Chicago, 1973-1974 and Visiting Scientist Professor, University of Chicago for a decade, 1975-1986. Professor Padmanabhan is the recipient of many prestigious honours and awards. Notable ones are, Salma Memorial Award, SBC, Shanti Swaroop Bhatnagar Award, CSIR, Bhasin Award in Biotechnology, Ranbaxi Award, B.R. Ambedkar, ICMR, and DSC, HC, from Banaras Hindu University. He is a recipient of Golden Jubilee Senior Biotechnology Fellowship Award of DBT 1997, UNESCO Chair in Biotechnology, 2000, Distinguished Biotechnology Award, 2003, GM Modi Award, 2005, Janam Valley Award, 2007, Nasi Platinum Jubilee Chair, December 2007, and the Jawaharlal Nehru Birth Centenary Award instituted by the Indian Science Congress, 2008. Recognizing Professor Padmanabhan's contributions, the Government of India honoured him with the Padma Shri, 1991, and Padma Bhushan, 2004, awards. Mughal Emperor Dara Shiko Dara Shiko was born on 20 March 1615 in Ajmer, Rajasthan, India to Emperor Shah Jahan and his wife Mumtaz Mahal. He was the eldest of four sons and was raised in the Mughal court, where he received a rigorous education in various fields, including Islamic theology, Persian literature, and Indian languages. Dara Shikor developed a keen interest in philosophy and Sufism, a mystical branch of Islam, from a young age. He spent much of his life studying the works of famous Sufi poets and scholars, such as Rumi, Hafiz, and Ibn Arabi, and sought to reconcile the differences between Islam and Hinduism. He was particularly interested in the concept of Vadatul Wujud or unity of being, which held that all existence is one and interconnected. Dara Shikoha's interests in philosophy and Sufism influenced his patronage of the arts. He commissioned translations of Sanskrit texts into Persian, such as the Upanishads and the Bhagavad Gita, and encouraged the study of Indian languages and literature. He also commissioned several notable works of Persian literature, including the Safinatololia, a collection of biographies of Sufi saints. Despite his many accomplishments, Dara Shikoha's relationship with his father and brothers was strained. After Shah Jaha fell ill in 1657, a power struggle ensued between Dara and his younger brother Aurangzeb, who eventually emerged victorious. Aurangzeb had Dara imprisoned and later executed in 1659. Dara Shikoha's legacy as a patron of the arts, a philosopher, and a proponent of religious tolerance and cultural exchange lives on to this day. His ideas and writings continue to inspire scholars and thinkers in India and around the world. Now moving on important event of the day. Indian rivers Yamuna and the Ganda declared living entities by court in the state of Uttarakhand. In 2017, 
The High Court of Uttarakhand in India declared the Ganges and Yamuna rivers as living entities with legal rights similar to those of a person. The decision aimed to improve the protection of the rivers from pollution and other harmful activities. The court appointed three officials as legal custodians of the rivers with the responsibility to act as the rivers representatives and safeguard their interests. This included the ability to file lawsuits on behalf of the rivers and the power to make decisions in the interest of the rivers. The court's decision was based on the principles of environmental law which holds that ecosystems have inherent value and should be protected in their own right. By granting the rivers legal status as living entities, the court aimed to ensure that they are protected and conserved for future generations. The decision was widely celebrated by environmentalists and advocates for river conservation in India, who hoped it would lead to greater action to address pollution and other environmental threats to the rivers. However, the decision also faced criticism and legal challenges from some quarters who argued that it was impractical and could lead to conflicts with existing laws and regulations. World Sparrow Day World Sparrow Day is celebrated on 20th March every year to raise awareness about the conservation of sparrows and their habitats. The initiative was started by the Nature Forever Society in collaboration with the Ecosys Action Foundation, France, and numerous other national and international organizations. The decline in the sparrow population in urban areas has become a cause for concern globally. This is mainly due to loss of habitat, pollution, use of pesticides, and lack of food and water. The World Sparrow Day aims to educate people about the importance of sparrows in the ecosystem and promote measures to protect and conserve them. On this day, various awareness programs, talks, seminars, and bird-watching activities are organized by different organizations to spread the message of sparrow conservation. People are encouraged to create and maintain bird-friendly habitats, plant native trees and shrubs, provide food and water sources for birds, and avoid the use of harmful chemicals and pesticides.